David here with Fig Boot on Pens, and today I have a brand new pen for you from Le Bon, and that pen is the Le Bon Ocean. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over the parts and features of the ocean, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for, show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. And stay tuned to see how you can win this very pen, courtesy of Le Bon, who provided this pen to me for review and to give away to one of you. Uh, and don't worry, this uh, giveaway is not going to involve any puzzles. Le Bon is a company based out of Taiwan and was founded back in 1981 by the brothers John and Charles Hu. Uh, over the years, they've produced uh, private label brands for the Vatican Museum and a number of other places, uh, as well as producing pens with uh, elaborate metal designs and uh, hand-painted art. Uh, the Le Bon Ocean arrives in this box, and inside we have kind of a plain black box. Uh, that flips up and inside we have a use and care guide uh, and then also it contained one of these little uh, plastic uh, thingies that are kind of like a, a pseudo uh, wax stamp with an L on it or the Le Bon logo and then we have the pen. This is the Le Bon Ocean. Uh, now, this pen is part of their Cambridge collection, and while it's marketed as a special edition, I don't believe it's a numbered edition. At least I could not find a number on here. Uh, the pen is made from two different kinds of acrylic, uh, and it's accompanied by some gold-colored uh, trim. So let's start by taking a look at the cap. Uh, the end of the cap is rounded, and on the top there's an insert with some olive branches and uh, that also an L for Le Bon. Uh, the cap is then encircled by two round bands, uh, and then there is the clip. Now, I wouldn't say that this clip is flashy by any means, but I think it fits in well with the overall design of the pen, and it functions just fine. Uh, the cap angles up just slightly, and it's made from a, a kind of a, a, a whitish acrylic that has some subtle veins of di a slightly darker colors to it. it to me, it kind of closely resembles bone or a little bit of ivory, but I believe it's meant to represent a sandy beach. At the end of the cap, there is a rounded band. Uh, on the band, it's laser engraved with Le Bon. Uh, there is a rounded angled step down to the barrel where there are two additional bands with transition into the barrel material. Uh, it tapers down just slightly and is a pearlescent blue. So we have the sand and the ocean. Uh, this ocean material has a lot of depth to it and really catches the light as you look at it in different angles. Uh, it really brings the pen to life a bit. This transitions into a final rounded band, uh, and then the end of the barrel tapers down even more and concludes with a rounded end. The cap twists off to reveal this gold-colored stainless steel nib. Uh, on the nib, it's engraved with 3952 Le Bon and Germany. Uh, this is a Yovo nib, which accounts for the Germany portion of that. Uh, in the 3952 is a reference to the height of the Yushan Mountain, which at just under 13,000 feet is the tallest mountain in Taiwan. Uh, I find this to be a bit derivative. Uh, Mont Blanc does it, Sailor does it. Uh, maybe I would have preferred they come up with something uh, like a different reference to their home country other than the height of a mountain, because it seems like many other people have done that. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Uh, the end of the section is slightly flared and transitions into the cap threads, which I don't find to be sharp or uncomfortable if your grip happens to rest on them. Uh, I do like the size of this section. Uh, for me, it's right there in my sweet spot in regard to size. It's not too small. Uh, I don't mind a section with a bit of girth to it, but uh, I'm not too fond of thin ones. So for me, uh, this one is plenty thick enough. I find it to be comfortable in my hand. The cap does post. I don't find it posts too deeply. It is secure though, uh, and the length uh, that it adds to here uh, I find does backweight the pen a bit, throwing off the balance a little, so I prefer to use the Ocean unposted. Uh, the pen retails for $130 and is available from a number of retailers. Uh, I feel that that is actually a very reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. Uh, I don't cringe when I hear that price. Uh, the pen is well made, uh, and as we see in the writing sample uh, coming up here, it performs very well in addition. Um, I, I do have another uh, one of Le Bon's uh, Cambridge collection, which I've had for a while, uh, this red one here. and, and 
this one just didn't excite me as much. Not because of the performance, just some of the, the material just uh, didn't necessarily do it for me. It's essentially the same pen and the same design, but with a different barrel and cap material. This one's more maroon, and the barrel includes some gold pearlescent swirling. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this model, but like I said, it just didn't excite me that much. Um, but I have grown fond of the ocean. Uh, the size is nice, and with the white sand and the blue ocean, uh, it kind of reminds me of spending time at the beach. Growing up in Southern California, uh, the beach culture is very strong, and uh, living in North Carolina, that's something that I really miss about here. While we have some nice beaches here uh, on the East Coast, uh, that uh, beaches aren't quite the same as those on the West Coast. The surfing isn't so uh, hot here on the East Coast. Thanks again. Go out to Le bon for providing this pen for review and for giveaway. Uh, if you would care to win this very pen, all you need to do is be a subscriber to my YouTube channel and leave a comment on this video in YouTube. Uh, if you're a Patreon supporter, first of all, thank you. I appreciate your support. Uh, but you can alternately leave a comment there uh, if it's more convenient for you. Uh, in regard to Patreon, just an FYI that from time to time I will post additional content for supporters as well as give early access to certain reviews. Uh, and as I mentioned, I greatly appreciate your support. If you're on Instagram, you can find me there at figboot11 as well. Uh, in regard to a comment topic, uh, this pen reminds me of the beach. Uh, let me know if you have a pen that reminds you of something, whether it be a place or a memory. Uh, it's interesting to hear about the personal connection that people have with their pens. So now it's time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Le Bon Ocean. Uh, here it is with another uh, one of the uh, pens in the Cambridge collection. I've, I've forgotten the actual name of that model. Uh, but then here it is with a Lamy All-Star. And then here it is with a Twisby Diamond 580AL. And then in regard to some other pens, here it is with a Lamy 2000 and Aurora Optima. And then here it is with a Diplomat Arrow. So here we have the Le Bon Ocean. Uh, and this is a, uh, a medium steel nib. And the ink that I'm using today is Colorverse Ham number 65. Uh, this is what the, uh, the bottle looks like. Uh, Colorverse inks, I just love the bottles on here. This is the nice big 65 milliliter bottle. Uh, they came out with a series of inks that is all named after animals that ha are related to the space uh, uh, industry in the space history and ham was a chimpanzee that was traveled into space and also came back uh, this is what the ink actually looks like um, it's kind of a, a darker blue with a, a little bit of a greenish tint to it i find it to be very similar to a couple of different robert oster inks something like the robert oster flank frankly blue or even the robert oster fire and ice it's somewhere kind of in that same family in regard to a writing sample, uh, that this being a, a Yovo nib, that it's going to work just fine. Uh, I, I've, you know, fond of the Yovo nibs. I think they perform very well. Um, it is a steel nib, so you're not going to get huge line variation out of there. You could push a little bit out of there. Uh, in regard to reverse writing. It's a little scratchy, but gets it done. In regard to ink flow, um, I haven't had any issues with the flow on this pen at all. In regard to some fast writing, uh, 
it's very pleasant. Um, I find this nib to be fairly smooth, especially for a steel nib, uh, and, and writes very well. The ink, the, the flow is good. Uh, it feels very nice. Uh, it's not scratchy by any means, and, uh, and actually very pleasant to, to use. So thanks again. Go out to Le Bon for uh, uh, providing this pen for review and for giveaway. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and leave your comment here in YouTube or in Patreon in order to uh, have a chance to win this pen. Uh, that uh, today is uh, Saturday. Uh, uh, what is it? Saturday, November 3rd, and uh, we'll be going until uh, Tuesday, uh, November 6th at the end of day, uh, and that's when the contest will end. So you have until uh, Tuesday, November 6th in order to enter the contest. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.